started off catching these little slipper lobster. They're pretty easy to catch, especially at night when they're crawling out in the open looking for food. Uh, you can just kind of grab them and from there you can secure them, take them to a bucket and go out and just get some more. This guy was one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. He was just crawling around on the sandy, rocky uh, bottom there and put my net behind him because if you lose your grip, they'll actually slip away. So just come down, grab them pretty easily. And they're pretty simple to hold on to. Just watch out because their tail will start pounding. So I just put them in this net and bring them back to the bucket. Here's a rare hermit crab. I'm pretty sure it's called a white spotted hermit crab, but uh, it had several anemone on it, which is pretty cool because you don't really see a lot of anemone in Hawaii. So it was really cool to see this rare hermit crab. Towards the end of my dive, I saw this barracuda and thought that it'd be cool to get a few shots of him. He seemed pretty aggressive and he actually came up and bit me right here on my lower back, which was not fun. I got out of the water immediately. Because the space on my GoPro was so limited, I wasn't able to get on footage me catching the octopus, but it was tucked in a coal. I tried grabbing it because I didn't have my three prong and it didn't work. So I tried sticking it with a rock, didn't work either. So I decided to back up and once I backed up out of his view, he actually came out because they're very curious and I was able to grab him from there. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna do a lot of other taco catch and cook, so don't worry, this won't be the only one. But uh, because I didn't get the catching part on film, if you wanna go back, the link will be in the description. I have a video all about how to catch octopus, so you're not missing out on much. Just go back, check out that video. All right, so we're gonna begin the cooking part of the video right now, Greek style. Welcome back everyone. So we're in the kitchen, we got all the stuff ready. The octopus is thawing out right there. We're waiting for it to defrost and we basically got all the ingredients ready. We have olive oil, lemon, we're gonna need bay leaves, salt, pepper, rosemary from a garden outside. And of course, the octopus. We're gonna be cooking this Greek style. We're going to season it, then boil it, season it some more, and then we're going to grill it. And hopefully it turns out well. I'm excited. I'm never cooked octopus like this before. I'm expecting it to be pretty delicious. All right guys, so we're deep frosting our taco and uh, the beak is still in there, if you can see that. So we're gonna have to pop that out and then we'll go ahead, cover it in cold water and season it with our ingredients. So we're just going to cut right behind the eyes like that. And then we're going to cut again right above the eyes because the, e the head is totally edible and it's actually one of the best parts in my opinion so we're going to keep the head put it back in here all right so we just cut off the beak you can pop it through but uh this one was pretty well in there so we just cut it off and we can pop that out this is all edible there's no beak it's just pure taco tentacles so put that back in Here's the octopus's beak. You do not want to get bit by that. This is not edible, so we're just going to set it on the side. Uh, before we do anything, we have to de-slime the octopus. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use salt in a small bowl. And all you're going to do is pound the octopus until all the slime comes off. And you can do this by working it through your hands, making sure that all the slime will be rubbed off. It just takes a lot of patience and make sure that you're rubbing it with the salt. So you're going to keep on doing this until the octopus tentacles are curling like that. When they're beginning to curl like that, that's how you know that you're starting to get the slime out and tenderizing it properly. All right guys, so we got out all the slime, the tentacles are curled, and now the next step is you're going to fill it up with cold water, and then you're going to season it in the cold water with lemon juice, salt, and bay leaves. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that, fill it with cold water. Now what we're gonna do is cut up two lemons, two or three depending on your preference. And we're going to take the lemons and squeeze out all the juice into our octopus in cold water. Next, we're going to take the bay leaves and we're gonna put it into the octopus dish. And after that, take some salt and just pour it inside. And we're going to let that sit for a little bit and then we will boil it after that. So I'll be right back. You want some? You ready? You want some? All right, y'all, we brought the octopus outside and we're going to be boiling it. 
for about 15 to 30 minutes. It's a part of the recipe, so that's what we're going to do. It's right here, it's been seasoned for a while. Got some bananas from our tree that we can go ahead and eat. We're gonna be boiling this in a wok right there with some water. Okay, the next step is we're going to take the octopus and put it inside of the wok, boil it for about 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, depending on your preference. So I'm gonna do this very slowly, very carefully. All right, we're gonna let that boil and then we'll be right back in about 15 to 30 minutes. So, we'll see you there. About 15 minutes ago, we finished boiling the octopus and uh, we're just letting it cool. It's already cool now. So what you're gonna do after you boil the octopus is take olive oil and make sure that the octopus is covered nicely in olive oil. All right, we're just gonna rub this together. Make sure that your octopus is cooled down enough to where you can tolerate the heat because you obviously do not want your octopus to be burning you as you're doing this step. The next step is you're going to sprinkle salt down on the octopus. Obviously not too much because then it wouldn't be tasty, It'd be too salty to eat basically. So you're gonna rub that together. You're going to take pepper and put pepper all over the taco. All right, now you're gonna rub the octopus with all of the pepper. So now you're gonna take rosemary and you're going to peel it off and put it on the taco and you're going to rub it on the octopus. So we're just gonna put that all over and rub it over the taco. This is looking good so far and I'm pretty excited. I've never done this method before, um, but this is looking really good and I'm excited to try eating octopus and cooking octopus in a Greek way. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, we got the taco right here. Right now we're about to grill it with the grill master, my dad. About to grill this octopus right here. So we're just grilling the octopus. Make sure that you're watching it carefully so that it doesn't dry out. Uh, that was on the little recipe handout that we got. We're just going to unfold the tentacles up so that it can all cook evenly. Pressing it down a little bit uh, kind of helps it to char. And you're trying to get a nice char on it. All right, I think it's good. All right. Here we go. That was it. All right, folks, look at that. Looks pretty nice. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, that's take two. All right, folks, we just finished grilling it and it looks amazing. I'm so excited to taste this and try it out. Okay, so we just finished and this is the first time that I'm gonna be trying this new Greek styled octopus. I'm so happy I was able to share it with you. Uh, my family's going crazy. I'm, I'm, I think it's good, so I'll give it a try. <laughs> Whoa, I gotta have another piece. Oh my goodness. This is one of the best things that I've ever eaten. That was some of the best octopus that I've ever eaten in my entire life. Make sure you follow this recipe. Uh, it was spectacular. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I love making these videos for y'all to uh, go out and spearfish catch your own stuff and then cook it at home for your family or for your friends. So we're gonna take this octopus to our neighbor's house and we're gonna eat a Greek style dinner and I'm so excited. So make sure that you follow this recipe and leave a like, comment, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Thank you for watching.